Hey everybody, it's Melissa Feetsum and today I am going to show you exactly how to set up a link in Mad Mimi where you can send your hostess a link that she can share and it is going to show up like this when um, your hostess shares this link in a text message or a Facebook message or even on her Facebook page. This is what they will see. So you can add graphics, you can add videos, you can add links uh, for people to click on, join the party, check out the customer specials with the video here and a shop now button. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So first of all, you're going to go to your um, Mad Mimi or another services MailChimp and you're going to click on promotions and then you're going to click compose. Uh, I believe I just picked traditional newsletter. And then I'm going to show you how to create all of these things in here. So what you're going to do is click on this add button. You're going to go to your July graphics <clears throat> and you can pick a graphic and upload it. So that's how you upload your pictures here. Um, I already have mine uploaded, so you literally click the picture you want and you drag it over. And then once you click on that, you actually want to add a link that each graphic will be linked to. Very important. So here you're going to um, talk about, um, check out the catalog. Check out the catalog. Now I'm going to make this bold and I would also like to make this uh, title. So once you click out of it, you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. Um, so just make sure, oh, that's a title. We don't want that. Just kidding. We're going to go right here. This is what we want is the graphic in this. So um, let's start over there. We want the actual little picture of the catalog, which is in here somewhere. <clears throat> here it is. So we're going to drop that into that one. We're going to click check out the catalog and then we're going to say something about spring catalog, check it out, da 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 da, da. Um, put whatever you want in here. Um, here you need to go to your issue account. So we'll jump on over to my issue account. I'm going to find the catalog that I've already uploaded. Click the link. Copy. Go back over here. So again, all the graphics you want to make sure are linked to something. So um, we're going to add a lot more in there, but that's what it's going to be. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to click on this button right here. And you're going to click button should say view catalog. And then you're going to link it to the actual catalog. I always have to go back up here and tab to be able to save. So now you have that view catalog. Now you're going to go up here and drop it where you want it. And now you have a view catalog. Now we're going to invite them um, to our Facebook party. So I created a graphic. We're going to drop it in there. Um, here we're going to say, join our Facebook party. And then you're going to get your link to the Facebook party. Um, um, join us on Facebook for some giveaways. You can put whatever you want in here. <clears throat> and then again, you're going to add another button. 
says join our Facebook party. And then you're going to lead them to the link of your Facebook party. Now, if this is an event um, on your personal profile, you can't put the link here because if you're not friends with them, they won't be able to join. If this is an event on your business page, it will work. If this is a link to a group, it will work. So this month we are doing our um, party inside of um, a group. So it will actually work. Um, join our Facebook party. Now, for all purposes, I'm just going to put that same link that I had. <clears throat> and I'm going to drag that right there. And then we're going to do our customer specials. And that's going to go in there. And we're going to say check out the customer specials. And then we're going to add our text and whatever we want to say there. <coughs> we're going to add another button and we're going to say um, 40 second video on customer special. And then we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to find the customer special video, click share, copy, right here, put it in here, <clears throat> save. Now put this right there. Okay, now we've run out of them, but we need one more that says shop now. So we're going to add image and text to add another box and then I have a shop now button we're going to say shop now and then you can add if you simply want to shop blah 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 <clears throat> and then again don't forget that you want to add uh, the links to everything so here's um, mine and I want to click on my parties because I actually want them to go directly to the party page to see who they're ordering from. So that's where we're going to link that. And then we're going to add another button. This is shop now. Click on that. Tab. Save. Okay, so we're going to add some text and stuff there. Um, this we have to go down here. We're going to say, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. I hope to see you on our Facebook event. <clears throat> And you can make that a uh, title. There you go. So that stands out a little bit. Um, so that's how you do it. And then um, you always want to title these so you know what they are. And they will see the title, so title it something cool. So grilling, chilling, test. <coughs> Um, now one thing that I want to show you is, um, the, the styles. So you can edit these buttons, your fonts, the background all by, um, creating your own styles here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you click on this, um, you can click edit. And now um, your background, you can click whatever background color you would like. The buttons, you saw mine were all pink. <clears throat> um, and I 
clicked to have the buttons round, you can see it changing right here. See? Um, and then um, button shape, border, footer. Um, so that's how you change some of those. Um, then click save. And then I'll come back and I'll go to text. So you can change what all of these are going to be. I don't like the color black, so I picked um, just a different color kind of. <clears throat> you can um, play with the fonts also. Um, size, alignment, everything. And click that. Now you actually have to change just about everything. So your subheadings, you can also make those a different color, just a slightly different color if you'd like. And you can choose the fonts. And then um, the button. Um, this is the, the font again and you can see it's changing that and we choose white so we save that so this is how you're going to play with um everything basically um you can change your your links what those will show up um i show those that so if you did have a link in here, it's going to show up um, different also. So that's how you can change the backgrounds and things like that. And you can save those. So mine is saved is the same one and titled. But that is how you can create this. Now, um, when you go to continue, um, you're going to choose who you're going to send it to. So I always send it to myself and exclude everyone else in your audience. You can set up your, your email list beforehand. So it shows it's only sending it to me. And then I hit continue. Um, here, um, I want to include all the share buttons. So I check all of those. And then I click send. Looks good, send it. And then I'm going to show you how to retrieve that link. So once you've sent it, you're going to go over here and click on that. And if you pull this up, here's your link. You just copy that. And now this is the link that you will send to all of your hostesses.